but they won't bite or sting. They'll just sort of bombard you. Meet Dr. Jean Kritsky, Dean of Behavior and Natural Sciences at Mount St. Joseph University and cicada expert. They've been spotted all over greater Cincinnati, and this is just the beginning. Well, you will get cicadas in your house. They're going to be on the trees. They're not going to be like uh, the stink bugs or the, the ladybugs that gather in nooks and crannies around the house. He says trees above five feet should be okay. With regards to small uh, trees, three or four feet in, in height, you can buy these things called garden bags. They're mesh bags that tie at the base of a tree or plant so air and water can get in, but cicadas can't. He also recommends waiting to plant anything new. Cicadas are attracted to buzzing noises like a lawnmower or an air conditioning unit. Certainly would recommend that you, you make sure that your unit stays free of any debris, uh, whether that's bugs or um, things that float in the air, leaves in the fall. With the weather, calls are picking up for maintenance requests at Steve Morrison's family business, Rusk Heating and Cooling in Covington. He doesn't expect cicadas to cause him many headaches. I've been in business long enough now that I've been through a few cycles of the cicadas and really haven't seen where the cicadas have caused issues with air conditioning units. He says to hose them off if they swarm your unit and check it periodically. Kritsky recommends embracing what you can't control. We don't know when the pandemic is going to officially be over, but we know the cicadas are coming and they will be gone. You know, Morrison says a few cicadas on your air conditioning unit is no big deal, but if they do start swarming it, you're probably going to want to hose them off. And if they do cause any real problems, which he says is rare, You'll probably want to call a professional. Reporting live tonight, Jatara McGee, WLWT News 5.